KSHB 41 News starts right now. Three years in prison for former Chiefs assistant coach Britt Reed. Here he is leaving the Jackson County Courthouse. This happened in just the last half hour. You see he's leaving there in police custody. Reed was behind the wheel in a crash that seriously injured a young girl. The KSHB 41i team's Cameron Taylor is live outside the Jackson County Courthouse tonight. Cameron, what do you know about how the judge reached that decision of three years? Yeah, Caitlin, the judge handed down the sentence of three years in just the last hour. Today, I saw Ariel Young and her family here at the court hearing. Ariel Young was wearing a shirt that said Ariel Strong. She's the young girl who was severely injured in that crash from February of 2021. Now, our cameras were not allowed inside the courtroom, but I could take notes. The state argued for four years for Reed to serve four years in prison, saying it would deter others from making similar choices. Reed's attorneys argued that that had already been achieved and pushed for probation. Now, after taking time to review all the documents from each side, the judge handed down the sentence of three years. I spoke with Jackson County Prosecutor Jean Peters Baker after the hearing. You had pushed for four years to deter others from making similar choices. Do you think this sentencing does that? I do. Yep, I do. Judge was very um, um, cautiously listening to to everything that was presented and rendered his decision. And at today's hearing, Britt Reed directly apologized to Ariel Young and her family. He mentioned he has a daughter the same age as Ariel, and he acknowledged how his decision impacted Ariel Young and her family that night in February. He also mentioned that he would understand and he accepts his responsibility. That was said before we learned of what his sentencing would be. We're live outside the Jackson County Courthouse. Cameron Taylor, KSHB 41 News. All right, Cameron, thank you so much for that live update. By the way, the family of Ariel Young released a statement on the sentence through their attorney expressing displeasure that the maximum sentence was not handed down this evening. The family said, quote, no amount of prison time will ever be enough to punish the defendant for the pain and suffering he caused this family and the ongoing difficulties that Ariel will continue to endure for the rest of her life, end quote. After sentencing, Britt Reed issued a statement saying he respected the decision. He expressed regret and said he hopes and prays for Arrow Young's continued recovery. Today's sentencing brings an end to a case we've been following for almost two years now. That crash again happened around 9 p.m. on February 4th of last year. Reed told officers he'd been drinking before the crash. On April 12th of last year, he was charged with DWI causing serious physical injury. Last November, the Chiefs agreed to cover Ariel Young's medical expenses. Reed then pleaded guilty on September 12th. And they were all going through our backyard screaming. It was just, it was, it was horrifying. It really was.